So the yellowtail is one of the fish that is known around the world as hamachi, same family. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sear this fish rare and we're gonna slice it up. A little oil on the pan, the pan's hot. You can see the Camp Chef grill is starting to smoke. We're just gonna hold it on there. We're gonna add a little bit of oil into this, get it to cook up. Touch of salt, I'm gonna cook it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it over, let it cook up, a little bit of pepper. The danger of eating fish rare is, yeah, you're gonna eat too much of it because it's that good. You know, people have been saying that forever, but you're still eating rare steaks. Have you been eating fish my, my, my whole life? And I'm okay. <laughs> Send all hate mail to Scott Lason, Sporting Chef. You can hold up fillets to a bright light and look for parasitic worms and stuff like that. If it's a wild offshore fish, like a yellowtail or a tuna, me personally, I wouldn't freeze it and then eat it. I would eat it raw to get the full flavor and effect of all those parasitic animals, kidding. So what I'm gonna do here is we did this very rare. I'm gonna take a little slice right down there. This is how you want it. It's still got flavor. It's not overcooked. It's not dried out. It's like eating a medium rare steak or an elk backstrap or whatever it is you hunters are doing out there. This is a great piece of fish right here. Right now, this is right on the edge of what you don't want to do. We take it off right now. It's going to continue cooking. We're going to lay it here. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna cut it right down the center here, just like that. And now you can see the difference between the two fish. It's absolutely, one is well done and one is a medium rare, still pink and flavorful in the middle. We're gonna cook this whole piece and I wanna show you how the bloodline cooks on these. We're gonna leave the bloodline in. Again, the bloodline is right here. So we're gonna cook this off. You can watch the bloodline start to turn brown or gray, whereas before it was a deep burgundy color. My personal preference on this piece is seeing that it's the belly. It has a higher fat content. So this is the one that I would choose to do on a medium rare or sear side. And then the top loin of the fish, I would go ahead and cook all the way through. In and along here, you still have nice pink fish, high mountain trail dust, you can see that start to sizzle, the fat coming out of it. You can see right along the edge here, that dark meat that turned brown, that was the bloodline, high fat content. It's a great product. And that's what we got going on.